hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be filming kind of like a get ready with me but um it's gonna be like a boat edition glam boat edition so like when you want to be glam on a boat this is the makeup look for you now i'm sure most of you um probably don't wear any makeup when you go on a boat because you're gonna get in the water but i don't really plan on getting in the water today and i feel like doing my makeup and I'm going to be doing a glam look but it's going to be a little different because I am going to use cream products as well um, just to kind of give me a more natural look as much natural as we can get um, and I'm kind of just going to talk about also why I look greasy I just did my skincare so um, I did an oil and then I did um, a moisturizer and then, of course, since I am going on the boat, I did this face sunscreen. And you can't really see it. It's not focusing. But um, this is the Origins A Perfect World SPF 40 Age Defense Moisturizer with White Tea. And it has 40 SPF, which is a lot. So um, this doesn't break me out. It doesn't smell like sunscreen it smells really good actually so I really like this I only have a sample size but I've had it for a while and I haven't used it up so just remember when you're going to be in the sun to do sunscreen also don't forget to put on your neck um, to start off I am gonna take primer and I'm gonna take the Ole sorry <laughs> the Ole Henriksen uh, banana face wait banana bright face primer and um, I use the eye cream as well, which is amazing. Um, and I really like this because it um, has a little bit of, not shimmer, but it like leaves your face with a sheen, which I feel like is really nice, especially when you're gonna be in the sun. It's also hydrating and um, I'm a sucker for hydration primers. So while that sits, I'm gonna take a lit, just a little bit of concealer just to kind of hide the veins and stuff that I have going on in my eyes. Next, I'm gonna take uh, just some face powder. Doesn't matter which one you use because we're just gonna set our eyes. So for this eye look, I'm just gonna use the Modern Renaissance palette. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have this palette. I'm going to take raw sienna and mix it with burnt orange and I'm just going to tap into both of those, tap off, and I'm just going to hit my crease. And this is just going to be super blown out. I don't want it to look like I have uh, like full on eye makeup on, so we're just going to do a little bit of this. Little bit, <laughs> little bit in the crease, some winged liner, and then we'll focus on the face. So, let's see. And when I'm doing a more like natural type of um, eye makeup look, I kind of like my eyeliner to start at the end. Um, and I don't do my whole eye. I'm just gonna repeat that and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna take a makeup remover wipe. I would take a Q-tip with just my spit, but I don't have a Q-tip. So I'm just gonna take um, the makeup wipe like this with my using my nail. And I'm just gonna clean up underneath even though there's, you know, there's not much to clean up because our eye look isn't too dramatic, but I just like to clean all that up nice and sharp. We're ready to go. Next, I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna take just like a light beige color. You can really use any color. And I'm just gonna pop that kind of like on my lid that way. It brightens it up a little bit, but it still keeps it matte. 
I think what I'm also going to do is just take a little bit of my most loved <laughs> eyeshadow palette, the Friendcation palette by Desi and Katie. And I'm going to take a little bit on my index finger and I'm just going to pat this on my lid. And um, I decided to do this because I think it'll look really pretty in the sun. So... I love this eyeshadow. And next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Brow Wiz that I always use, and I just like to comb through my brows first. And then start. And I'm gonna try to go as natural as I can with my eyebrows today. It's just too much. All right, so now that my eyebrows are filled in, um, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia brow gel, but I'm gonna wait um, until after I do my foundation. Sometimes I feel like uh, my eyebrows light lighten from my foundation, so I'm gonna wait till last minute to do those, to put that through my brows. Um, now we're gonna move on to the face, which is always my favorite part. Um, so I got a lot of samples of the Cover FX um, Power Play Foundation. Um, my friend Eric, he had this on, this foundation, and his skin looked amazing. So I was like, okay, I need to try it. So she gave me a few colors. Um, so she gave me N40, but I actually really like uh, G40, which is a golden undertone. Um, sometimes I feel like, so like my face is red has like a pink undertone but my chest and my neck are very yellow so I actually really liked um, the golden one so I go in with just the back of a brush honestly and just start dotting it on and then I just go in with my beauty blender and blend everything out I've worn this once and I really liked how it looked so I'm hoping that it can withstand the heat because where I live it's pretty fucking hot it's been in the hundreds lately so I'm sure today on the boat it's gonna be a hot one also I'm sure a lot of you guys know, but just make sure that you blend all the way to your neck and down so that there's no harsh lines. Um, and if the color is like slightly off, because it is really hard to find the perfect foundation color. I like it's so hard for me. It's like. I feel like I'm really pale, so then I get a foundation that's too light. And then I just, you know, my face is a lot lighter than my body. That's happened to me many of times. Actually, <clears throat> happens a lot and it makes me not want to post the video because I look so white. And I don't know if it's like the lights, because when I take like a picture with flash, it's not like that off it's not like super white or anything only on camera but it makes me not want to post it because i'm like this is hideous like how am i going to do a makeup video when my makeup looks fucked up so woo, my arm is getting a workout that's for sure another thing i love about this foundation is it looks so natural like i would say got foundation in my hair <laughs> i would say it's definitely not a matte finish but it's not a dewy finish so 
I feel like it's a natural finish, which I don't know exactly. I haven't looked up what exactly this um, foundation is like marketed under. I don't know if it's like a natural finish or what it is, but to me it gives me more of a natural finish. It's a little dewier like in these places, but I also have a lot of like moisturizer and the sunscreen and everything like that going on. So I don't know if maybe that has something to do with it, but um, next I'm going to move on to my concealer. Um, I'm going to mix two, so I'm going to do the Born This Way. And then I'm also, actually, I don't know why I just did that right now. Fuck. So before I was supposed to do that, I was going to put on my uh, Becca Under Eye Brightening concealer and as you can see it's kind of like a pink tone i'm pretty sure i've used this in a video before um but this is really good for uh dark circles so since it has that like pink undertone it's really going to cancel out and brighten your under eyes so i really wish i could have put it on that one but it's okay. We will survive. So since I don't want a stark, stark under eye, I don't want it to be too bright. I'm going to take the Cover FX Power Play Concealer, which is, um, I think it goes with the foundation. And this is in G Medium 1, so it's that golden undertone. So it's just going to warm up my under eyes a little more. That way they're not so uh, bright white. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and a damp beauty blender. This is my favorite way to bake. It's my favorite way to apply powder. I love using a damp beauty blender. So I'm going to load up my beauty blender with a lot of product. And I'm going to bake with all this product. And I'm definitely going to bake because I crease very easily. And since it's going to be hot, I really don't want my makeup to go anywhere. So I'm going to do a lot more baking than I usually do. Alright guys, so now that we're baked, well we're still baking under the eyes, um, but now that my camera has memory on it, <laughs> um, I'm what I did off camera was I just took more of the translucent powder and I just kind of pressed it in with my damp beauty blender. I still really like the Hoola. I feel like it's a great color. I also really like the brush that it comes with. So I'm just going to dab into this a couple times and I'm going to not, I'm not going to forget to knock off the excess and I'm just going to go very lightly. I'm not pushing hard at all because I don't want to disturb my foundation underneath. Um, and I just kind of go in like circular motions and I let the brush really hug my cheekbone. That way it kind of does the contouring for me and I don't have to really, you know, chisel, chisel. And you can already see like the difference. Um, I'm also going to go a little bit on my hairline. If you feel like you're, um, if you put it on your nose and you feel like it's a lot, which to me I kind of feel like I put too much, um, I'm going to take my face powder and just like a little brush like this and I'm just going to go over the contour that way. It's not too, you know, it's not too in your face. So to kind of blend out my contour, I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer and like a more fluffier brush than the one that we used and I'm just gonna go over that a little bit. I 
I think another way to get your makeup really blended and nice is to just do layers. So I do like a contour and then I go over it with like a brush and a little bit more of the contour. And I take a fluffy brush like this. It's really big, really fat. And I just take another bronzer. Usually I do bronzer that has a little bit of shimmer. Um, not too much. But um, I do have the Becca one in I-P-A-N-E-M-A. -E and then I also have the Bare Minerals in um the beach is waiting and i really like this one because it does have a lot of shimmer um but this one's really nice too it's just kind of dark and it's really pigmented so i just kind of have to be light-handed and make sure to knock off the product Next, we're going to wipe off the bake. So I'm going to take just a tapered blush brush like this and kind of just wipe away the bake. After that, we're going to do blush, which is one of my favorites. So I got this brand new jo Jouer um, Cheek Summer, Cheeky Summer Blush Duo. And it's in Terracotta Sands and Coral and this is just beautiful so this has some shimmer in it which i usually don't do shimmer that much but i think it looks really pretty for summer so i'm gonna put this on next i'm gonna take my morphe setting spray and i don't even know if i have any in here but I'm going to spray my face. Ooh. God, that stuff smells so good. Next, I'm going to take my Amrezy highlighter. And this is just because I want to... I wear this when I want to fucking glow, so... Just going to go at the very, very highest points of my cheeks. If you can hear my dog snoring, I'm sorry. Small brush. And I'm gonna put this in my inner corner. My camera's about to die, so we're going to speed this up. So, next, I'm just going to take the same colors that I put on my crease, and I'm going to put them under my eye. I'm going to take this gel that I have, and I'm in the color chocolate, and I'm just going to put this on my eyebrows. So any foundation that I got in my eyebrows that lightened um, them up, this is just going to help make them darker. Lip liner, I'm just going to take the C67 from Bite. And we're going to move to mascara. This is the Lancome. Um... Grandiose Extreme. Alright guys, so that is the full completed boat glam look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I really like how this look turned out and I like how the video turned out, which I'm excited about because I've been really wanting to post. I just film and then I I try to edit on my computer and I usually find like 50 things that are wrong with the video so then I'm like who would watch this I don't want to edit this because this is embarrassing that's literally what I think so hopefully this video when I go to edit it like everything looks good and I'm not embarrassing myself too much um and yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed 